Hello YouTube and welcome to Katrinka LOL and today I want to share with you a little bit about how I organize my art supplies and uh, this is this is just the, uh, some of the acrylic supplies that I have um, but I have I do the same thing for the watercolor for the colored pencil uh, and uh, and other supplies for other types of mediums that I use so uh, let me just give you an overview that I, I, I really like using these carts. These are the laundry carts that go in between the washer and the dryer or in the kitchen and it organizes things. Uh, I just find these work very well for me. Uh, so I have my brushes here and I organize them by size and, and type. And then I have my rollers and and other kinds of supplies, and I, I use a lot of uh, palette knives, so I have uh, those organized there. So what I what I really like about this is that I can roll it around. So if I'm working on an acrylic project, I can roll over the the acrylic uh, carts to my project, or if I'm working on watercolor, I can do the same. So uh, I just find these to be very mobile. Obviously, I brought them in here from my uh, studio, and that was easy to do. Um, so that's one type of cart that I use. And the other type is, is this type. And, uh, and this is how I organize my paints. Now, some people like to organize them by color. I organize them a little different. These are the, uh, the paints that are, that are becoming empty. So I try to use these up first, and these are the paints that are more full, and so I keep those there so I, I, you know, I don't have them all mixed up, so I know what, what I'm looking at. And then down here I have the, the smaller paints, up here I have the larger paints, and then I have black and white here, and then under here I have specialty paints like gold and silver and, and the like. And also then my big jars are down here on the bottom. So, and this also is, uh, is mobile. I just pull this up to whatever project I'm working on and, and there you go. So I thought I'd share this with you today and uh, this may be part one or uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.